I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today is a special edition of the uh, Wood by Wright shop and we are going to be giving away 37 tools um, to a bunch of different lucky people. So this is going to be a lot of fun and uh, yeah, so I've got a bunch of the tools here, the ones that I have uh, for US and all across the world and I'm going to be showing you those as we go and those will be uh, shipped out. And then all of the other tools that are in other countries already, um, those will be shipped out later to their winners. So basically to show you what we have going on, I have buckets uh, with all of the names. It was uh, 216 entries total. Um, and so they're separated by country. So I have US, Europe, Canada, um, and everywhere else, as well as um, Argentina. So uh, this is gonna be kind of fun. I'm gonna draw a name and uh, put it with the, uh, the tool it goes with. And so uh, you guys know uh, why I occasionally turn and talk over this way. I'm actually doing a video, a live stream from Periscope with my phone over here. Uh, and if you want to do the, see the recording on that, it's a much longer thing and we have a lot of fun and we talk about these and uh, um, I do the Donnie dance. Okay, I can't believe I just put that in this video. So if you want to see me do the Donnie dance a couple times, I will leave a link to the whole video on Periscope in the description below. Uh, it was a really fun time with talking with people and having uh, an enjoyable time there. And maybe next time you can uh, visit me there. I try and do a Periscope about once a week or so, anytime that there's something fun happening in the shop. So first, um, Canada. This is for a marking gauge made by the woodworking junkie, um, Alan, a good friend of mine up in Canada. And uh, a really cool um, marking gauge. I love his design on it and uh, someone is gonna be happy. So who is that someone? Let me... So let's see who wins. It is... Carrie Worry. Carrie Worry? Carrie Worry uh, from Canada. Please uh, contact me in the comments below and Alan will be shipping that out to you. Hope you like it. So next up, we're gonna start drawing for the United States. Uh, first up, um, Lyle Kalberstead, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Um, he made a mallet and marking gauge and these are really cool. Um, they were late entries, they didn't get into the video with all of the others, um, but he was part of the drawing. And this one actually has um, beads inside, so it's a dead blow. So uh, when it hits, it sits, and it's kind of a, a really cool mallet. I love the, uh, the thin little end on this. Um, beautiful work on that, and a uh, marking gauge with it. Um, really nice, kind of cool setup. So let's draw for who wins those. Tom Spillany, S-P-I-L-L-A-N-E. So Tom, uh, let me know in the comments below, and we will uh, get these sent out to you. So next up for the US, uh, GP Woodworks made this router plane and uh, he was the very first person to make something for this drawing and I'm loving the work on it. Uh, really cool job. It's actually made out of an Allen key uh, with this great handle, has an awesome feel to it and someone is going to be very, very happy. So let's find out who that someone is. And we have... Nick Henderson uh, from T70. He is actually uh, one of the people who made something. He made um, a knife that we'll be giving away a little later. So uh, congratulations, Nick. So next up for the United States, we have a toolkit from Wayne Cole. And this toolkit is kind of cool. It has a whole bunch of different things. Number one, um, it's got two of these sliding clamps, uh, really ingenious design uh, with lever lock, um, a bevel gauge uh, so you can uh, find your bevel angle as well as angle keys um, for the, the standard angles. Um, and these are just a smart idea. Just cut the angles and then you have it for a future time. I kind of like that. This is actually for finding um, the thickness inside of a vase or anything you're turning. Um, and it's a great set of uh, calipers for that and a great way to actually find out how thick is the wall inside of something you can't reach. And this is a tool I really want to make sometime. This is really, really ingenious and it makes an oval. Um, and so these keys actually slide past each other in this dovetailed sliding system. So as this goes around, this point actually will make an oval. And so if you move those keys on the stick to different points, you get different shaped ovals. And I think that's just really kind of cool. So someone's gonna like that. And then he made a uh, marking gauge uh, with just a threaded rod, and I thought that was ingenious, so kind of smart. And then this is actually a sanding block, um, and so he takes a, a sanding belt, puts it on a, a frame, but then on one of the dowels, um, he cuts a flat in the dowel uh, so that you can actually rotate 
uh, the dowel to tighten up the frame. And so if you need a quick sanding block um, using the, the sanding paper uh, from the belt sanders, it's a great quick tool. So let's see who wins this. Desert Mum Woodworking. Um, I love that name. That's kind of cool. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing your comment below. Uh, let me know and we will get this whole pile of tools sent out to you. So next up, we are giving away the uh, the tools that won first place in the hand tool challenge. And this is a gorgeous uh, marking gauge, beautifully done with this tiger maple and purple heart with a brass inlay, um, and then a center finder, uh, just beautifully, beautifully done. So Opa, you outdid yourself on these. Now let's see who wins them. Derek Kerr, K-E-R-R, -R, Derek Kerr. You just won uh, this marking gauge and center finder. So let me know in the comments below and we'll send that out to you. So up next, we're giving away a compass and a marking gauge. Um, it's sort of a two-in-one tool, so you can use it to draw circles or to draw straight lines. Um, kind of a cool thing, and this comes from Wood Tools Workshop. I love his channel, um, does some great things on there. Let's see who wins it. TJ's Woodworking Shop. I love your stuff. Um, let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll get this sent out to you. So up next for USA, uh, Black Widow Woodworks made this all uh, just gorgeous wood. I love the feel of it. Um, and uh, he ground his own point and it is sharp. <laughs> um, and then uh, he sent around along a, a plane uh, for me to restore. And so I figured that I would throw in uh, one of these uh, block planes that I just uh, 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 just redid. And uh, we'll be putting one of those as a going along with the all. So you'll be winning the all that he made as well as a block plane that I just restored. So it should be kind of fun. Grant Verunman, V-R-O-O-M-A-N. Grant Faruman, you just won the all and block plane. So let me know in the comments below and we'll get that out to you. So up next for the United States, uh, Mark Peterman made these router planes and these are really kind of cool. I, I just, I love the, uh, the spalted feel of these um, and just really well done. And so someone's gonna be, uh, gonna be happy with these. So a smaller router plane and a larger router plane for two different uses and two different uh, sizes of getting into things. Very well done. Let's see who wins these. Epic Adams 640. You just won two router planes. Uh, so let me know in the comments below and we will get these out to you. And uh, you are one lucky buzzard. So the next up for the United States, we have Shane's Hobby Shop made this beautiful mallet. Um, his design and making the handle is just uh, really kind of an inspiring idea with cutting things at 45 degrees. Really well done. I'm in love with it. Um, a great feeling handle, a hammer, uh, mallet, and uh, someone's going to be happy with that. So let's see who. So it is uh, Matt Dodaro. You just won a mallet, and it is a sweet one. So looking forward to sending that out to you. Let me know in the content uh, comments below, and uh, we'll get that out. So next up for the United States, we have these two mallets made by Miller's Woods. Um, he is a, a good friend who lives just a little bit away from me, and they are beautiful, made with uh, walnut and ash and oak, and a nice pair, so you have one for a smaller, more delicate, and one when you really want to wallop on something. So let's find out who wins them. Donnie Carter, you just won two mallets. So uh, let me know and we'll get those out to you. I'm looking forward to sending those to you. So just because we are done with America doesn't mean we are done with you. At the very end of this, I'm giving away um, three other tools that can go to anyone in the world, America, Europe, Africa, China, wherever you are at, we will get it to you. So now we're going to start into the drawings for the EU um, and uh, some really cool prizes done across the pond and we'll see who gets them. First up is a prize uh, from Rob's workshop. He made a square and a panel gauge. Uh, really, really cool. Um, I, a panel gauge is something I, I need to make sometime. I've been fiddling around with using a marking gauge for it and a panel gauge is a great tool uh, for when you want to get that line in the middle of a board somewhere. Um, so someone in uh, Europe is going to win them and let's find out who. So, Hopkirk, uh, you just won the panel gauge and square from Rob's workshop. And so uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys think that I am pronouncing something wrong, uh, please tell me. I probably am. And I'm going to leave spellings for everything in the description below and uh, who won what. So um, please uh, let me know uh, where you want that sent and uh, Rob will be sending it out to you. Up next for the EU, uh, Justin Dune made a pair of marking gauges. Actually, one's a marking gauge and one is a mortising gauge. Um, really well done. I love how they were set up um, and a great video. Uh, go check that out in the playlist um, as well as all the other videos from these things being made um, are in the playlist and a lot of great ideas on how to make a hand tool. So let's see, who is this? 
William Cosen, um, really cool guy. Um, I love your work on YouTube and uh, one of the great commenters on the channel. So um, yeah, congrats and uh, hope you like those marking gauges. Next up for Europe, Barry Cox from BC Designs uh, made a mallet with this um, veneer inlay that is really cool with these colored stripes, a sharp mallet, nice job. Um, gotta check that one out in the videos. And so let's see who wins that. So the winner is Terry McCarthy uh, from England. And uh, congrats, you just won a mallet from BC Designs. Really cool job and I hope you like it. Next up for Europe, uh, Not Only Wood uh, made a fantastic mallet. He actually turned it on a lathe, has some really cool figuring, um, beautiful mallet, and I would love to use that for uh, doing some carving work. So let's see who gets that. This goes to, the winner of the mallet is Daniel Siskli. I hope I'm saying that right. I probably am not um, because you are from Romania, but congratulations, you just won a mallet from Not Only Wood. Um, hope you like it. Let me know in the comments below and we'll make sure to get that out to you. So next up in Argentina, Daniel made this awesome brace. Um, and if you haven't seen um, the video, you've got to do that. But a brace is actually something that's kind of difficult to make. And so it's kind of cool. Now, the problem is I don't have a whole lot of viewers in Argentina. Um, Daniel's one of them, um, but he really can't win his own prize. So I have one other viewer in Argentina who I think has very good odds of winning this brace. Let's see who it is. The winner is Oma Naito, Naito, N-I-E-T-O. I hope you like it and uh, we'll get you in touch with Daniel and it'll be a fun tool. So I now have uh, three giveaways that can go anywhere in the world, whether you live in Zambia or China or a mile away from me, we will get these to you. I hope you live a mile away from me because Zambia is rather expensive to ship to. <laughs> But first up, I am sending out these two knives um, that were made by Donny Carter, uh, Wood Craftery. Really cool channel. I love the guy, and uh, uh, these are kind of cool. I, I, I love the, uh, the two-tone. Um, he made his own plywood for this. Uh, very, very cool, and uh, well done. So the winner of the two knives is uh, Peter Tetralt. Uh, probably not saying the last name right, um, from the USA, and I hope you like these two knives. They will be uh, a lot of fun for you. So next up from Tip70 Designs, we have this beautiful marking knife. Um, it has its own sheath, uh, really cool design. I love it with a leather strap. This is, this is beautiful and I, I love this knife. So this can go anywhere in the world. Let's see where it's gonna go in the world. Is it gonna go next door? Is it gonna go to the Philippines? We don't know. And the winner is Tony Wright from the UK. Uh, you are going to absolutely love this knife, and I'm looking forward to sending it to you. Let me know in the comments below, and uh, we'll get in touch and get you the knife. So the last tool is this one right here, and it is a tiny little chisel that is um, fantastic for getting into things. Uh, but number one, the handle on this is made completely uh, with sawdust. Really, really cool idea, um, and it's all colored with natural colors. Um, I love the idea behind this, and I am probably going to be doing some work with her soon making something very similar for myself. So uh, yeah, let's see who gets this. And the winner of the chisel is James Ladari. I am probably saying your name wrong. Like I've said, most of the names wrong on this contest. And uh, please contact us below. I will have spellings of all the names below and uh, we'll get this out to you. So all of these tools are going out to uh, people all across the world and I'm going to be shipping these all out and having a lot of fun with it. Um, if you are a winner, congratulations. Um, if you're not, we're going to be doing this next year. And next year, I'm probably going to have even more tools and more people involved with this. It's going to be a lot of fun. So this week, I'm going to be packaging all these things up and shipping them all over the world. Um, and speaking of shipping, um, I've had a, a few people ask me if they can help out with that because I'm probably going to spend up, end up spending several hundred dollars on shipping these. Um, um, across countries and all over the place. And so I have a, uh, actually a GoFundMe, um, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can uh, um, help me out with that if you want to. I'm not, not asking for anything, but if you want to help out with that, fantastic. So this has been a lot of fun. Uh, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, was this something you like? Would you like me to do it next year? And uh, is there anything I should change for next time? I'd love to hear about that. If you did like the video, please hit like and think about subscribing. I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are absolutely awesome and a huge encouragement to me. So thank you. If you did like it, uh, feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.